Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your Mac. So let's get started. On the top left hand corner of your screen, you're going to see the Apple logo. So here's my Apple logo. Just click on it. And from there, you're going to see these two options. So one of them is going to be the App Store. The other one's going to be System Preferences. With older Macs, you would have to go into the App Store to update anything. At the moment, we have to go to System Preferences. So let's go right into System Preferences, our second option. Once we open that up, we should see this right now. If we click on Get More Info right here, we're going to see that it's only 2.43 gigs. So it's pretty small. And down here below, on the bottom right hand side, we can click on Install Now. Now before we do that, it's very important to do something else. So let's just close this for now. And I'm going to show you one thing that you should do before you do any update. And this is only if you care about your information on your Mac. So I highly recommend going into Time Machine, setting up Time Machine and making that backup. So here's my Time Machine. I do have a separate video showing you guys exactly what Time Machine is and how it works. It's a default app in your Mac, by the way, it's already installed. So I'm just gonna open up Time Machine preferences for now. And here's my Time Machine. What, what is Time Machine? Well, this backs up your entire computer, including the Mac OS. So if I wanted to go back to the current Mac OS, I could do that using Time Machine. So since I already made my backup, because I do have backups automatically here in my Mac, I'm just gonna close this up, or I can just go back, and right here is my software update. So what I'm gonna do is just click on Update, which is on the top right hand corner, Update Now. So that's exactly what we're gonna do, just click on Update Now, and we should see this popping up. Click on Agree on the bottom right hand side, and here we go. It's just going to download and then it's just going to restart. So make sure you're not doing anything in your Mac or anything like that. Now, when it comes down to the actual backup, remember guys, I'm just doing that just in case something goes wrong. You don't want to lose your files, right? It does not mean that all your files are going to get deleted by this update. No, I just mean it's a backup that you guys should do if you guys care about your files. Obviously, you don't have to use Time Machine. Time Machine, I think, is the greatest thing though just because it works so well with any external hard drive, but you can always have a backup of your files online as well. For now, we're just gonna have to wait for this, and then we're just gonna see an Apple logo, a loading bar, and it's gonna restart. All right, so just after 20, 30 minutes, just about, your Mac should restart, and you would be all done with the update. And yes, you could actually leave your Mac alone since you press download update. Just leave it alone, let it do its thing, come back to it. Afterwards, everything should be okay. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.